Good evening. Dave Geister here with a Monster Movie Happy Hour. As usual, I'm stuck up here by myself. At least I'm in the kitchen. Scott and Mary, they're in their own respective chambers. So I don't know what they're up to right now. Okay. Uh, but at any rate, we're here to make a cocktail to pair with tonight's viewing of Slumber Party Massacre. Slumber Party Massacre. I'll be honest, folks. I'm not a huge fan of the slasher type movies, but this one is fairly entertaining. And the fact that it was directed by a woman makes it a little easier to swallow. And on top of that, it's pretty tame by modern standards. So give it a try. And likewise, the cocktail. But you know, I've been thinking a little bit about slumber parties. I don't know about you. Maybe it's a boy versus girl thing. Maybe it's a generational thing. I never had a slumber party, okay? I was never at one, never invited to one. Actually, that's not entirely true. Uncle Sam invited me to a slumber party one time. It was 1985, that's right. They called it Marine Corps Boot Camp. And you know what? It wasn't a pick. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Well, I'm glad you came to the Time to make the cocktail. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! Dave, snap out of it. Cocktail. Oh, that's right. We're making a cocktail. You know, if we'd had cocktails in boot camp, it would have been a hell of a lot more fun. Just saying. I originally looked up a cocktail that uh, would be appropriate for tonight's movie. And by appropriate, I mean, you know, what, what evokes some aspect of the movie, either in the title of the cocktail or the appearance or, God forbid, the flavor. And I looked up the power drill cocktail. There is, in fact, a power drill cocktail. Now, if you're familiar with tonight's movie, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll find out soon enough. But I didn't like the sound of the power drill cocktail. It's basically a modified screwdriver with, you know, beer dumped on top, or, or it involves a monster drink, a power drink. First of all, I don't have one. And secondly, it didn't sound all that good. So you know what we're doing? We're going with a good old-fashioned screwdriver, but we're going to put a Monster Movie Happy Hour twist on it. I love me a sweet drink, so let's let's see what we can come up with here, okay? And I hope Mary and Scott approve whatever the hell they're doing in their own part of the chamber. God forbid. Let's take a look here. Of course, the main ingredient, okay, in the screwdriver is not the vodka. It's the orange juice. Come on, folks, think about it. So we're gonna start with three parts of orange juice. One, two, three. Pretty easy, right? I always cap these things because I'm an idiot and I tend to knock things over. Of course we do have vodka, I was just kidding. Now, this is really a matter of taste. I am going with a three to one ratio because I really do like sweet drinks. You may prefer, however, a two to one ratio, two parts orange juice to one part vodka. And that's probably more traditional, quite frankly. But you know what? It's my video, it's my lounge, I get to make whatever the hell I want. And then really, let's just, uh, I don't know, let's put a few ice cubes. You know, my brother-in-law, Jeff, basically says you need to fill the glass with ice for it to be a true cocktail. Um, and I normally would agree, but in this case, I'm not gonna overdo it because I don't have that much room and uh, it's not gonna last that long anyways, trust me. Now at this point, we can go a couple directions to make this our version, basically sort of the bloody screwdriver. Uh, 
you could go the simple route of adding Rose's grenadine, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Rose's grenadine is, is quite tasty, okay? And of course, it's got the right color. You know, we're thinking blood here, folks. It is, after all, a slumber party massacre. Keep that in mind. But I think we're going to use, actually, some cherry juice. And I just like pouring it over top and watching it kind of swirl. Look at that. And then a garnish. You gotta have a garnish. A couple different ways we can go with the garnish. I'm gonna do both. Ideally, one would use an orange. I don't know about you, but in my part of the lounge, we don't have access to all the food and alcohol we normally would have right now. But I do have some of these little tangerines. So we're gonna put just a slice of tangerine in. Look at that, pretty simple, right? And since I like to overdo things when it comes to the fruit and the sweet, a good old fashioned maraschino cherry. My wife can't stand these things. I love them. It's okay. Next to my fear of tomatoes, it's really the only part of the relationship where we don't agree on things. There we are. A maraschino cherry. Oh, he sank to the bottom. How sad is that? It's okay. I think it's time to test this guy out. Wait, what's that you say? We need to stir it? Perhaps just a moment. Here's a stir stick. You know, this is entirely backwards. A normal human being would have put the garnish in after the stirring, but we do things differently down here in the lounge. I say, cheers. Oh yeah, cheers to me, cheers to you, cheers to Scott and Mary, maybe even Norman if he's still around. Cheers to my wife, who's actually holding down the fort here. And uh, what can I say but take care of yourselves out there. Strange times, but we'll get through this, okay? So enjoy tonight's movie.